Do you need a smarter way to manage deliveries and drivers? Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are diving into Onfleet the powerful delivery management software and driver app that's transforming logistics for businesses big and small. In this video, we will guide you step by step on how to use OnFleet from setting up your dispatcher dashboard, assigning routes to using the driver app like a pro. Whether you're a business owner, operations manager, or a new driver, you are in the right place. So let's begin. So, first off, you need to visit the official website, which is going to be onfleet.com. On the top corner, you can log in using your credentials, or the better option is going to be clicking the Start Free Trial. You will be forwarded in this section. All I have to do is provide all the information needed. And of course, from here, you will be forwarded to the main homepage of Onfleet. There's going to be a welcome message. If you want to skip all of them, just click on the uh, X button and you will be forwarded here. Make sure you read and understand some information that could guide you better on the on fleet. All right. Now, so I'm going to skip all of this. I'm excited to work on the navigation tools on the left side because as you can see. Now, if you look into the map, obviously this shows you a live real time view of all your drivers tasks and deliveries you can see where drivers maybe are on the road you have this street map you can use street map with pois right here right or point of interest or transit map if you want it depending on your preferences and likeness you can also use the satellite which gives you a huge coverage of the entire area you see there on the uh, right side shows you the traffic layer you see that it's highly customizable so you can see where drivers are on the road which tasks are completed in progress or upcoming okay you see that there's going to be a small chat box here a dialogue box you can start a new conversation you just have to search your contacts all right if you don't have any contacts yet don't worry because on here there's going to be a plus button that gives you the ability to create a new task you just have to provide the phone number all right note about the recipient task details for example um destination you can put in the additional settings which is optional for example complete this around here all right and then uh, complete before you can add customer signature photo of delivery add notes and the route optimization settings you can have a service time quantity and a lot more now, for example, all I have to do once you have added the destination, the destination notes, all right, here, you need to assign this to a driver or a team, depending who handles the task. Click the assign, it'll be forwarded here. Make sure you have all the contacts provided here. If you do, it'll be auto populated and you can choose from any driver or team and click the create task. All right, so I'm going to skip this. So I don't have any driver, but just, I'm just showing you around. If you do have a fleet or a driver, you can just go to the plus button here. Right? Do not forget about it. And then you see this is going to be an import task if you want it. If you want to choose a file, if you wanted to um, bulk import tasks, you want to make sure that you have a JSON, CSV, or Excel can be imported. All right? So if you so so that you can reduce the manual entry. If you have like twenty or thirty um drivers or tasks you wanted to import, this is gonna be your go-to option because it's gonna be a lot. It takes you it'll take a little time if you do it manually. So we're gonna cancel this. Instead, I'm gonna show you this section right here that says see that? That's gonna be the export button. For example, you have so many data around here, you can export all of the tasks apart from um, bulk importing but please note that the maximum date range of export is 32 days all right for example you need to choose the task status is it can be completed assigned or unassigned of course you have the option to all teams or all drivers include deleted custom fields in task reports and click on export 
similar to the import but uh, import option you can export this as csv json or excel i'm going to cancel this you see this one section here if you want to log out of your account do this but i'm not going to do that because i'm going to go to the table so the table is a more detailed spreadsheet style view of all your tasks and drivers unfortunately we don't have any drivers around so we can't show you anymore but here if you do have you can filter by status task id recipients destinations and type you can also have the task created which is easy to sort and search through specific tasks it's kind of useful if you want to find a particular delivery or check the status of a batch of orders, think of it as the organized data view that complements the map. All right, if that makes sense. Now, of course, we're going to go to the analyze. This section gives you the reports and insights. It shows metrics like delivery success, delayed task, average delivery times, task completion stats. And of course, the good thing about it is that you can download reports and track trends to improve efficiency over time it's basically where you review performance and spot areas to optimize all right so you have the uh, task by service time task by type task feedback distance and time so you can export it as a csv date range you can have a custom team all teams or a specific driver or all drivers depending on you you can group them by day, week, month, days of week, hours, and drivers. Now, there's going to be an option here for the integration. So, for the integrations marketplace, you have two options, all right? So, there's a lot. You can use Square, AeroPay, Delivery Manifest. All I have to do is click on the Activate button, all right? then the sapir and n28 so if you are using any of these applications it's a lot easier to work around with on fleet because they seamlessly integrate with all these especially shopify built built with on fleet i've been using shopify uh both with on fleet because one of my clients are also already using the drop shipping method and using the on fleet um app so it's a lot easier to work around with the uh, sections now at the bottom of that is going to be the gear icon which gives you the settings if you click on it you would have an option to create your team all right so for example we're going to add a team team name is you can search the drivers dispatchers and click the create team so we have that already here right you have now the now you can go to the dispatchers if you wanted you can add dispatcher right here for example um click the add dispatcher now after dispatcher there's going to be two more important steps here in on fleet and that's going to be the drivers and the driver app because they work both hand in hand now i want you to click the drivers and there's going to be a very important notice here that says organizations in trial mode can add up to 10 drivers please note that the deleted drivers count towards your driver limit during trial and of course there's going to be a you see this driver invitations towards your sms limit which is going to be during trial so what does it mean that if you click the add a driver for example we're going to be putting the name of on fleet test driver and then you should use any of the following options is it going to be by walking biking scooter or motorcycle a vehicle trunk or a car all right you need to provide the vehicle details like year make model license plate and color and assign to that team for example if you want to assign that driver to the on fleet team you can do that and of course there's going to be a sms and tracking page which is optional all right so for now what we can do is click the add driver but you need to provide the phone number as well so we're gonna just uh put in some random numbers and as you can see once the driver has been added there's gonna be a section that says invited remember that for the driver app you see whenever you add a driver they should be able to receive 
a driver invitation request for the mobile app here in OnFleet. So you need to log in to your mobile device and then the click the link app, right? And then you need to provide all the information needed. But please remember that you need the invitation from the fleet admin of the OnFleet account. Since the, the thing about it is going to be, as you can see, the invitation for the mobile app is only available on scale or enterprise plans. Unfortunately, if you're just using the free trial, you're not going to be able to send an invitation. It would send, but you're not going to be able to log in. That's why, as you can see from here, we're having issues entering our password. So if you want to fully unlock and utilize the platform of OnFleet, I highly suggest you upgrade to the scale and enterprise plan so you would have both the mobile app and the software application on the web. All right. Hope that's clear. Now, moving forward. Now, next is going to be the communications we're in. Again, for organizations and trial mode, there's going to be a limit. All right, so you need to upgrade with the subscription plans, which we're going to deal in a bit. Now, for connections, you can check here. We have the tracking page as well. You can customize the way you want it, but again, it requires a scalar enterprise plan. Speaking of plans, you might want to choose a plan, and the uh, 14 days free trial is here. Click the choose plan. Just fill in your credit card number, and you do that, all right? Now for the reports, this is going to be a section where you can have enable daily digest emails and enable weekly digest emails if you don't want that. Custom fields are here if you want to add a custom field and essentially that's that. Now, and that wraps up our guide on how to use OnFleet's delivery software and driver app. So if you're looking for a streamlined all-in-one delivery management tool, OnFleet is definitely worth considering. It's intuitive efficient and packed with features that can seriously level up your operations. If you find this video helpful, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tech and software tutorials, and we will see you again in the next video.